Minnesota is grappling with one of the worst COVID outbreaks in the nation. It is so bad that federal help is on the way to relieve some of our hospital workers. Two emergency medical teams from the U.S. Department of Defense will fly in to help. As Caroline Cummings explains, it's exactly what is needed right now as health care workers are overwhelmed. Morale uh, is... Uh, not great. The last 19 months of the pandemic are taking a toll on healthcare workers who have stood on the front lines battling every brutal wave of the disease as it hits hospitals. The last couple uh, months, in particular, the last couple of weeks, have been uh, as uh, difficult as any since the start of the pandemic. Hennepin County Medical Center is at capacity between COVID patients and those who need other care, but help is on the way for them and St. Cloud Hospital. The U.S. Department of Defense emergency medical teams will be in Minnesota to shore up staff in a move that will bring much needed relief to those hospitals. Well, it might seem like a small number uh, of additional incremental beds that we will be able to open up uh, in response to this uh, additional staffing. Uh, will make a big impact for on our ability to care for the patients that are in front of us. The two teams of 22 will come to Minnesota next week, but Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm says the need surpasses the federal assistance that's available. There's just been a tremendous demand for those teams nationwide. An increase in hospitalizations is compounded by staffing woes. Malcolm says there are fewer health care workers on the job in Minnesota than there were last year. The two hospitals getting federal assistance hope this helps. It's very emotionally hard on our staff to, to deal with all of these um, people who are so very ill. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Most of the patients hospitalized with COVID in both St. Cloud Hospital and Hennepin County Medical Center are unvaccinated. Hospital leaders are pleading that people get their shots.